What's going on guys? Today in this video, we're gonna be talking about shot lists. What exactly is a shot list? Why you would wanna create one and how you can create one? Let's just dive straight into it. So what exactly is a shot list? A shot list is essentially just a list of shots that you plan on getting while you're there on set, while you're shooting the video, the movie, the short film, the music video, whatever it is that you're shooting. A shot list is just a list of shots that you plan on getting on set that has evolved from the treatment that you created for the project. Now, what is a treatment? A treatment is just the broad overall spectrum of what you plan on achieving for the video, whether that be the emotional feel that you're trying to give off, uh, the context that you're trying to give off for the story. Uh, a treatment is just kind of sort of a very broad concept that you're pitching to a client to just give them kind of sort of a visual representation of what you plan on capturing on set. So you have a treatment, which is the concept that you're pitching to a client so they know what's going on. And then you have a shot list, which is something that you keep to yourself or something that you are gonna be relaying to the DP or the other help that you have on set with you to help you create this vision. Now, why would you wanna make a shot list? I myself have been in tons of scenarios and different videos where it's just me pulling up to a location and I have no clue what's going on. I've never seen the location before. I have no clue what we're gonna be shooting. It's just a bunch of improvising and that's cool. But shot lists are more so gonna be for the projects that you have foreseen, you've seen the location, you know specifically what you wanna do in terms of lighting, uh, angles, uh, movements, equipment, pretty much everything. Shot lists are gonna be more so for the videos that you have planned beforehand, not the spontaneous running gun shots. Though while you're on set, you might run into a lot of opportunities where you're gonna be improvising and adding things into it. A shot list is just there to keep you on track with what you're supposed to be doing. Now, shot list can go with any type of video project. It can be a wedding, it could be a music video, it could be a short film, it can be a cinematic sequence that you plan on getting for your vlog. Shot lists are relevant to pretty much everything that you're gonna be doing for video work. Now, a couple benefits of creating a shot list for your video is it's gonna make the project go a lot smoother and a lot faster. When you're doing a lot of running gun projects, it's a lot of you just sitting there trying to figure out what would look good. Whereas if you have a shot list, you know specifically what you're gonna be getting. You're gonna know what you're gonna be going into. You're gonna be knowing how you're planning on lighting this setup. You're gonna be knowing where everyone needs to be to create this vision that you're trying to accomplish. Shot lists just make things go faster. They make things go smoother. Shot lists are just where it's at. Another really huge benefit of having a shot list is it makes you look a lot more professional than you might even be. You have a shot list, you go on set, you know exactly where things should be lighting wise. You know exactly who needs to be in what spot. You know exactly what equipment choice you're gonna be doing. It makes you look so much more professional than you actually may be. You might be on set and you might have no idea what's going on, but if you have a shot list, it's gonna make you look like you have done this a million times and that this client is gonna wanna work with you forever. They're gonna see you killing it. They're gonna see you looking like you killing it. They're gonna see you looking like you know what's going on. A shot list is just gonna make you look so professional. If you're doing music videos and you eventually get to a space where you're shooting more popular artists who have bigger budgets, who have management and space to contact, you and you're doing direct contact with the management and not the artists, most of the time they're not gonna know what's going on. They're just gonna wanna pull up and shoot and get into the space that you tell them to go to and perform. Most of the higher tier artists, they're just like pulling up, they just wanna perform, they just wanna do what they have to do and they just wanna get it out of there. So if you have a shot list set up, the artists can come in, they just go to where they need to go, they just perform, they just leave. It just looks so much more professional than you pulling up for a running gun shoot and you sitting there and you thinking and you're freaking debating with your DP or the person that you have there helping you on set about what y'all should do, a shot list is gonna completely wipe out all of that and just make you look so professional. Another benefit, probably the biggest benefit of creating a shot list is it's a lot less stressful on set. I've been on set before where I had this grand scheme idea that I thought that I was gonna do on set, um, but I had no idea how I was gonna do it, and I'm just sitting there and I'm just trying to improvise as fast as possible. We have people asking what's going on, we have people asking where we're gonna start, we have people just huffing and puffing and just frustrated. It's just gonna create a less stressful environment on set for you, the artists, the models who may be there, the help that you have on set with you. A shot list is just gonna take away the stress of pretty much everything on set. Really quick before we hop on the computer and I show you all how I create my shot list, I wanna give a shout out to the sponsors of this episode, the lovely people over at Squarespace. If you guys have no idea what Squarespace is, it's the all-in-one platform for pretty much everything relative to websites. They have domains, they have website templates, they have pretty much everything that is relative to a website. So if you're a beginner, you're an expert, you just want a simple place to go to for a website, Squarespace is the place to be. They have all-in-one templates that require no updating, no back encoding. So if you literally have no idea what you're doing, 
while you're creating a website. It's gonna make this process so easy for you. Aside from that, they have 24 seven customer support. So if you ever find yourself in a jam and you don't know what's going on with the website, you can just hit them up through the chat that hit you right back. So if you are interested in bettering your online presence with the website, head over to squarespace.com right now for your free trial. You can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imogen for 10% off your first purchase. Let me show you all how I create my shot list though. Here we are in program. A few things that I want to make noted is it's tons of different ways that you can create a shot list. There's no right or wrong way. It's really all about getting into a format that makes sense to you when you're looking back at it. I've seen people use Microsoft Excel. I've seen people use iPhone notes. The program that I use to create my shot list is Evernote. Just something that I've been using for forever. Uh, pretty much any program will work. You can literally use the notes in your phone. Microsoft Excel is actually a really good way of creating it just because you can create different boxes for different uh, different shots and you know stuff like that. So now a few key components of a shot list that I feel like you should always have is one, the time of the shot, the time of the day that you plan on capturing a shot, the time of the day that you plan on arriving to the actual location, setting up and uh, starting the shot that you have in the shot list. Time, big one, you should always have time. Second one is the location. You should always have the location on it. It's just gonna make sense if you're sending this over to someone else who's gonna be helping you for the actual shots and on set. Put the location on there always. The third is the type of shot. Always specify what kind of shot you're gonna be getting, whether that be close, super close, wide, medium, whatever. Just make sure it makes sense to you. It doesn't really matter specifically what you put down. You don't have to be super technical about it. Just make it so it makes sense to you when you look back at it. Fourth is equipment. Always write down the equipment that you plan on using for the shot. That way, if you pass it off to someone else who's helping you on set, they can be behind the scenes getting these things ready before the shot even comes up. It just makes it such a smooth process if you put the equipment that you're gonna be needing for the next shot down on the shot list. Always have the equipment that you plan on using for that shot. The next is gonna be lighting. Lighting is very crucial, and lighting is kind of confusing if you don't add images in to really replicate what you're trying to visualize. Um, but if you write it down and it makes sense to you, um, it's always a good thing to put in there. Visual representations and examples of that are a little bit better, but if you can't do that, just make it so it makes sense to you when you look back at it. And the last and final is an equipment list. I'm notorious for leaving things at home. I used to leave my house all the time and leave my screw for my glide cam on my desk or the top plate for my glide cam or my follow focus or a lens or an ND filter. Always put an equipment list at the bottom. I'll show you that in a second, but let's just get into it. So. As I said, we're here on Evernote and this is kinda all over the place. Just get into a space that it makes sense to you. So I have a few different shot lists that I'm gonna show you all that kinda vary. It depends on how much time you have and how much knowledge that you have uh, for the shoot. You might not specifically know what time you're gonna be shooting. You might not specifically know the location. You might not know the lighting. Just get into a space that you can. So with this one, this one is actually pretty close to what we were doing. So. I have the shot list for the Soul Faith video. Um, I have the time that we're gonna be start, uh, starting this specific shot, 4 p.m. Um, and if you get really good at it, if you get really good at shot listing, you can put where you expect to see this actual shot in the video. So you can see right here specifically, uh, it says the intro. So this is gonna be the intro of the song. And I put down the time that I wanna see this shot in the edit. Now this isn't required, but this makes things go a lot smoother when you're getting into the editing process. So. I've been making it a habit for myself to put down where I see the specific shot in the edit. It makes things go a lot faster. So uh, this is the intro shot and we're gonna be seeing this from the zero second mark of the track to the 10 second mark of the track. Um, and these are the shots that we're gonna be getting. So we have an opening screen door as he's walking out. This, we're gonna get this wide. We're gonna be doing a reveal and sweeping left to right. So I'll put up a, an example of the clip that I shot just so it makes sense. You can see right here, uh, I already knew what house I was gonna be shooting at. I knew that the house had bushes in front, so I was gonna be sweeping and kind of sort of revealing the shot from behind the bushes. That was why I put revealing. So then we're gonna be getting a close shot, semi-tight, side angle following him. So he's gonna be coming down the stairs. I'm gonna be following him from the side. I'm gonna catch his feet hitting the actual stairs. Um, and you know, we're gonna be sweeping from the chest up, side angle, we're gonna be following him from the side again. And uh, this is gonna be from the chest up. Right here you can see the equipment and props that we're gonna be needing for this. So we're gonna be using this, the Ronin, on this because we're gonna be following him. We want these shots to be silky smooth. Sigma 18 to 35 for the lens. And uh, I wanted to get a shot of him tossing the bag into the car as well. So 
uh, the prop that we were gonna need for that was the bag. Now, I never got the bag, which is why I never checked this off. Here's the location, Will's mom's house, um, et cetera, stuff like that. So look, this is like as simple, uh, but as informative as it gets. So the reason that we put it in this little format right here where we have the checkoffs is after we get the shot, we can just check it off. This just ensures that we get everything that we need. So we got the shot, we check it off, check it off, check it off. And you can see gradually as you go through the actual video, you forget to check things off, but that's good. Just keep a uh, look at it. You know what I mean? Just keep a look at it as you're going. And uh, if you have the time and you find the time to actually check it off, just check it off as you're doing it. It just ensures that you get everything that you plan on getting for the actual video. But I mean, that's pretty much as simple as it gets. You can see we have the equipment. Um, the lighting wasn't really a factor on these shots right here because we were shooting in the daytime. Um, so I knew I would probably need like a reflector or something like that. But, you know, we don't really have too much lighting on these ones um, for these shots. So uh, let me take you all to another uh, shot list that we have. So this shot list right here is pretty much set up the same way. Um, we got like the time that we plan on seeing it in the edit. Uh, we got the different shots that we plan on getting. The only difference with this one is I knew that this was going to be like a dark video. So. I knew that I wanted to write down the different lighting that I was gonna be using for the shot. So you can see we have the lighting right here. Um, I wanted to get the two tubes on each side flashing. This is gonna be the Quinn Books Code in the Veil video. I'll put up the video right here. Um, so this is the shot where we sweeping in for the intro. I knew that I wanted the two tubes on the left side, um, left and right side. Um, and initially I wanted to do an overhead panel to light them, but I just let the tubes light them. And I knew that in the background, I wanted to have a blue gel that was kind of sort of casting a light in the background to get the the actual depth of the hallway, because the hallway was huge. Um, and I I intentionally left the beginning of the hallway kind of dark, just so you can see that it was like a really long hallway. So, you know, we got the different lighting. Um, we got the different equipment that we were going to be needing for the actual shot. We needed fog, we needed the 18 to 35. And uh, yeah, you know, it's just pretty simple. You just write down what you plan on get getting. You write down the times that you plan on seeing it in the edit if you plan on doing that. You don't have to do that, it's not required. That's just something that I do. Um, and that's pretty much it. You write down the equipment for each different shot. You write down the different shots you plan on getting. So this is gonna be a wide slide through the doors. Uh, this is the shot with him on the stool and we're sliding in on the slider. Um, and I knew that I wanted to light him with the daylight key panel and then a, a warm hair light, but we actually ended up switching at the blue. So. You can have a shot list and it's still gonna be a little bit of improvising on set. You might not actually like something that you wrote down, so you just switch it. But a shot list just keeps you on track with what you're supposed to be doing. It just gives you a guideline and it's cool to step outside of that guideline when the time comes. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So at the bottom of every single shot list that I do, I write down an equipment list. And this just ensures that I don't leave the house without anything that I need, cause I'm notorious for it. I'll leave a lens, uh, ND filter, a light, a gel, tape, gaps. I like, this just ensures everything. So you write down an equipment list for everything that you need. You basically just go through every single one of the equipment uh, avenues right here that you have for each individual shot. And uh, you write it down once at the bottom for the equipment list. So I knew I needed the Ronin, the 18 to 35, fog machine, tripod, slider, 5085, LED panels, 120D, mini spotlights, tube lights, blue plastic wrap, gaff, tape, 7.5, stool, etc. So yeah seems like a lot man but it makes things go so much smoother it makes you look more professional it takes the stress off you while you're on set so if you're looking at this and you're kind of overwhelmed it's kind of overwhelming but it's not as overwhelming as when you're on set and you have no idea what's going on so this is my general breakdown on how i create shot lists the reason you're going to want to create a shot list is to take the stress off of you make yourself look more professional and this is why you should always create a shot list for a shoot when it's possible and it's available for you to do. If you guys enjoyed this video, you found this helpful at all, make sure to drop me a like, comment, also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. What I'm gonna try to do as well is I'm gonna try to copy this and uh, save it into uh, Microsoft Word format and put it in my Dropbox. So I'll leave a link in the description for you all to check out one of my shot lists just so you can evolve it into your own and kind of sort of mold it into something that makes sense to you. So hit the description, go download that, check it out, mold it into your own thing, you know what I mean? Get into the mode of creating shot lists and making things go a bit more smooth on set. I'm out guys though, peace, drop this video a like.